So the testing stage is making sure that all the data has been transferred properly, all the program routines work properly, all the code generated is done, uh, has no errors, and all that kind of stuff that you're already familiar with. And you do this by having two or three different types of test data. You have typical data, extreme data, and erroneous data, which we'll look at a bit later on. However, the bit of testing that I want you to bear in mind is called black box and white box testing. Black box testing is carried out independently of the code itself. And essentially, you put some data into the black box and you get some data out. If the output that you get matches what you were expecting to get, then you know that the test has worked properly. What you don't do is get an insight in terms of how the data works. You simply input the data and expect something out. Whereas white box testing, this consists of looking at the code and generating the data that tests the logic and structure of the program. So then you put in code and you understand what needs to be done with that code or that data and what should come out. So there's a lot more in terms of what's happening with the data when we do white box testing. Okay, there's a big difference there. So black box testing is just looking at the output to make sure that it meets the test plan whereas white box testing is looking at the structures and the code manipulation that takes place you've also got alpha and beta testing alpha and beta testing are two early types of tests that you can carry out as a program developer alpha testing is used to describe the test that takes place in-house so this is done by the programs themselves looking at test plans the kind of thing i've just discussed with you now Whereas beta testing involves giving the system out to a group of people who are or potentially are your customers and letting them test it and get back to you about any problems. And Microsoft do this all the time. The developer program they think works pretty well. Rather than spend hours and millions of pounds testing the system themselves, they release a beta version which programmers and enthusiasts can then test themselves. And of course you can get money for being a beta tester. The only difference is you need to give some feedback at the end of your testing to the developers so they can then fix the programs.